In this video we'll take a look at the for loop within C sharp and it has a different structure than the while or the do loop. So we're going to go ahead and begin by creating a new project and I'll just type in the name of the project call it for loop and we'll go ahead and begin here. I'll add uh, similar, similar to the other loops that I've created here I'm going to go ahead and add a button and I'll add a list box and I'm going to go ahead and name the button CMD run. I'll go ahead and change the text to run. And then for the list box, I'll just call the list box LST output. And this is going to give us our opportunity to run the code by pressing the button and then displaying our output in that list box. So we'll go ahead and begin by double clicking on run. And now we're here at the method for our for loop. To begin with, I'll actually use or create uh, the loop with the for command. Now how this one differs in the do or the while loop is I don't actually need to create my loop control variable or the variable that's going to actually control how many times our loop is going to run before I actually create the loop. I can actually create it within the loop itself. And so I'm going to go ahead and begin by typing the parenthesis. The first portion of this section or this uh, statement is going to actually have us declare and possibly initialize or initialize and declare both um, the variable. So we're going to go ahead and declare it by saying int and we're going to go ahead and call it counter and we'll initialize it by setting it equal to 1 in this case. Now that's the first part of this and I'll use a semicolon to separate the sections and so the first part is to actually create the variable, loop control variable that we're going to use. Now the next section is going to be the actual section to test the condition. So we're going to go ahead and just say while counter is less than 10. And I'll go ahead and put the semicolon there. So the second part of it is the testing of the condition to see if whether the loop should run one more time. And the last part is what we're going to do to actually manipulate that loop control variable or to modify that variable or increment it or decrement it depending on the method you're using. And I'm just going to go ahead and say counter plus plus and that's going to automatically increment it by one. I could have said counter equals counter plus one in that statement there. Uh, and So this is the section for our for loop. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'll do the opening and ending curly braces for my code. And we're going to go ahead and begin our code. So I'm just going to say LST output dot items dot add and I'll go ahead and add counter and I no longer have to write a statement of code to increment this counter because it's automatically going to do it for the loop and so how this will work is when it comes to the top of the loop it's going to go ahead and declare that variable the first time it runs it checks the condition and then I'll go ahead and increment it for us every time it, it runs through the loop so if I go ahead and run my code or debug it and I hit run you'll see that it displays it every time for us and so the first time it runs through counter is one and then the next time it runs through it increments it by the plus plus or which is code for the one time and then every time it runs through it, it keeps incrementing every time until the condition is no longer met. And this concludes the for loop within C sharp.